Hey everybody, welcome back. I am a, I, I'm a believer in this weekly. Does it eventually devolve into scaling? Hang on, I gotta click on... Oh, you couldn't see, but I had, a, I had a push notification. It said, hey, it's the perfect time to hop in and enjoy Battlefield 2042 Season 4. Let me be like a, a boring... No, let me be like an orange dumpling. That sounds like it could be tasty. Maybe some kimchi on the inside. Maybe more red than orange, but it's, you know, it's in the ballpark. We gotcha. I, all weeklies at some point, well, they, listen, there's, there's really like, it's a, I don't want to get into the John Nash equilibrium, you know, Adam Smith was right type thing from a beautiful mind. There's like a, a triangle in this, in this game, at least in weeklies. At one vertex is scaling, one is summoning, one is sniping, and all weeklies are some combination. And may maybe it's actually a square, and then there's like miscellaneous. This weekly is a little bit scaling, especially towards the end. But I think it's got it's got some miscellaneous as strategies prior to that. You know, it's not a big summon weekly. Um, if anything, there's a little anti summon with the Ardvark and the Royal Flycatcher. It's not a big sniping weekly. There's no Lynx. There's no Dolphin. Just thinking about how I want to do this. I think I want you here, you back here, and you right there. Um, so it's really just like, it's good stuff in Magic the Gathering terms. It's just take good units in the early to mid game, build a good team, and then at the end, hopefully you've got like some penguins or some poodles or, you know, you had a lioness for a while. I think betta fish is still good. I think it can still go hard. I think you should definitely scale. I think you should get out of here. I think you should come into here. No pills is a bit of a bummer. This is an early jellyfish. We could buy, I mean, there's three different paths in front of you. Beetle, jellyfish, and shrimp. I'm, I'm choosing not shrimp this time, which is, is pretty rare for me. This feels like a loss. <laughs> not by too much, but you know the problem? No, no pills this week it does make like flamingo a little worse. It does make beta fish a little worse, but Pop me down. I'm just... Oh, I, I meant to buy you. Sorry. Um, the order here is going to look horrendous for a minute. Um, I'm going to try this. Which I'm not sure I would recommend. But I, I want to make sure the pill bug is giving permanent stats to the units that do the most with it. Eight, six. We're going to win this one. Now... Most important thing, as many jellyfish as possible, as fast as possible. Please don't screw me on this one. Roll me. Roll me. Can I get a level? Can I get a level on anything? Another jellyfish? We're, it's, we're so close. They're teasing us. We didn't get it in the order we wanted, but please, please. If you could, they got a level two jellyfish. They're going to show you why it matters. We, we lost based on just the thinnest of margins there. There's our first level. Helpful. Thank you so much. I'm going to say sell me. I'm going to say buy me. I'm going to roll. Another level. Unbelievable. It's huge. I'm going to say sell me. Against my better judgment, perhaps. I'm going to buff the jellyfish here. For now, I think we still want it like that, though. I'm, I'm such a believer in what this jellyfish brings to the table, if it can just get to level two. In a weekly with crows and with chocolate, and, you know, I tend to be a little reroll heavy to begin with, I'd say. Oh, good shot. That's a problem. No, it's not. Never mind. Not a problem. I think it, it plays well with my, with my play style. I didn't want the gazelles, by the way, mostly because I just saw them, but... Um, Okay, so there is a buy sell here with the buffalo, but let's get a little bit more creative. Very nice, I suppose. A seal. I don't think it's what we're looking for, but it is. It's so early. <laughs> it's mighty tempting. Maybe, you know what? I like what you got going on here. I think you gotta go. And then, sure, let's put the seal on the squad. And now we got a crow. 
You get the jellyfish to level two first, and then you feed future chocolate to the seal, which will also buff the jellyfish, which will also buff all the units. It will create a perpetual motion machine. Nothing will ever stop us. We're going to the moon. You're all invited. It's a different team than I normally run, for sure. But I think it's, I think it's got a couple of different outs. We should just freeze this, and when you get low on HP, we can buy this so you don't die, and then keep the buffs going. But that means we do have to like sell this, maybe. No offense to our whale, it, it has done some work, but we got, we're on a different strat now. This is okay. Roll me. So, I mean, actually, you know what? Just take a silver fox for one round. And then freeze good foods, maybe. I also think but potato on manatee could go hard. We got a different idea going here. We're not really going for Doberman pivot. Penguin can work, but we already got, like, our, our scaling is kind of, well, I don't know, maybe a penguin instead of a betta fish, which is a 4-5 that's not generating that much for us statistically. Sure, there might be something to that. Either way, I think we can, this is a very lazy way of talking about it, and we're actually going to eat it right here, as then we deserve to. But I think we can afford to make a couple mistakes and still have a reasonable chance of going the distance here. It's like, you're going to go you're going to become part of the team. We're going to buy and sell to feed you. We're gonna roll. A penguin allows us to make up for our previous mistakes and now we got space on the squad. Now the manatee still buffing nicely is gonna live for one more turn. The penguin is giving us even more scaling on our jellyfish. And I think a 25-20 is like, it's relatively good for our current place in the game. It was able to get the job done there. We really need level two seal. Well, hold on. Three, two, four, five, four. Selling a penguin to take a poodle is like an instant improvement. And then f good food for your for your seal. Obviously, we... Re oh, why am I not taking this when it would help our jellyfish out so much? Obviously, we, we wanted chocolate the most. That didn't come to pass, but... Also, next turn... It, it, oh, potato on your manatee. What are you doing? We, we've been planning it for years. <laughs> what am I thinking? They got their own manatee seal build going here. Hang on. I think they torched me on this one. I think they clear me. We're going to be on lethal. That's, that's scary for me because I think this team has, has a lot of gas. Take some of this. Please buff the seal. You, or the manatee is what I meant. And you, and you did indeed, so I appreciate that. I do. And then take some meat just for even more buffs. They're still buffing the manatee. It's, it's not over. It's never over. You move to the front. The betta fish is not doing as much as I, I... I should have sold it a lot earlier, I think, but now I'm worried we're kind of stuck with it. You're going to have a big squid. You are going to be able to weaken me, but it's not going to matter. We're, we're strong enough. I'm worried because right now, like, we're beating squads that have one big unit. If squads have two big units, it's over for us. I need a buff on the on the manatee stat. I need it right now. You need to buff the manatee. Oh. <laughs> He's dead, Jim. All right. Um, honestly, buff the, buff the betta fish. I can't believe... Oh, wait, maybe the poodle buff will come through first. You should still buff the betta fish. Poodle buff, poodle buff, poodle buff. Oh. <laughs> maybe if I moved the manatee left of the poodle, it would have avoided this sorry fate. That's horrendous. That's horrible news. We are dead. Um... Okay, I really thought we had a, a, a clean chance there. That's fine. We, we, we had some fun, we experimented, we made a manatee work for us for a little while. Give me a 3-3 three, three pill bug. Give me a 2-3, two, three, a 3-3-2-3-1-2. Three, three, two, three, two. I'll be like a powerful healer. Like, um, Lich in Dota 2. He's a pretty good one, right? I like your mushroom hat guy. These are OR scrubs. Oh, are they? <laughs> Just a little Rushmore quote for you there on the house. Um, yeah, go ahead. 
And I, I'll give you one of these. I think a strat for me that might be good is just build the good stuff early. Like I, I think, and I've been struggling to figure out how to, how to articulate this. And we're definitely gonna lose this round. But I think sometimes I'm guilty of trying to figure out where I want to run to go on like round 10. Which is not necessarily that something that's bad to concern yourself with. Very interesting. But I think it's possible that there are times when I'm concerning myself with a future round. When what I should be doing is, like, I think there might, there might be situations where maximizing wins when your team is at its strongest, whether that is, like, round four or round 24, is probably a better strategy than just being like, here's where I want to be once tier sixes show up. Just my two cents. I'm going to sell you to get some meat on my pill bug. It is theoretically possible to take a level here, but I don't think I will. I think we'll wait. And then why don't you move up then? You buff you and you. You can move up one more just to be a warm body up here. I'm thinking like we could still, <laughs> and it's a bit of an echo of last week. But I, and th th this loss pains me a great deal, but um, we could still do Death Touch Seagull. I don't think it's set in stone, but it, it, it could do something for us. Now just hear me out here. I'm not taking the jellyfish this time. I, th it's, we've now become, it's buy sell. The shrimp can use the meat. Go ahead and take it. Then sell me. Then buy me. You're going to think I've lost my mind. I'm going to sell the beetle. We need the space. And the pill bug is providing us with nice stats. Then buy me. I'm going to say buy me for now. We'll sell you next turn. And then we'll run another pill bug again. I want all my meat units in front of my, my, my tankiest guy. Who, I mean, admittedly, the pill bug is the tankiest guy. But that probably won't last for, for much longer. This is horrendous. Horrible news. That's probably the worst thing that could have been hit. Never mind, we just won. Okay, I can stop sandbagging now. Keep the buy sell coming, brother. One of these. Sell me. Now remember, whatever you summon next will get meat. Okay, I'm, I'm going to burn it. These are beautiful buffs. Buy me. Sell me. You probably had your last trigger. None of the other foods are that good. You, another thing has been interesting to see is people running like um, cherry on seagull and then just trying to create like one big dog. It's an interesting strategy. I, I honestly could not tell you whether it's good or bad. But I think it would be nice to get a walrus. Oh, you, but you can't. Oh, no, you can have a walrus with a seagull with a donut and then like a, a, a beluga or something to try to create a, 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 a super death touch situation. But the reality of this situation, to be honest with you, is that with a level one seagull, I don't see it being the most important strat that we could possibly run right now. Triggers left probably zero. No one, okay. I'm definitely gonna mana to you. Just to get some stats. An 1823 and then three squad members with meat. It's a it I mean, I know we've been we've been winning, we've been losing, we've been winning, we've been losing. But I think this is a relatively strong team. Mostly because of the buffalo, but like three meats on a team is is pretty good too. Roll me. Purchase me. Maybe there's something here. Sorry to say you're gonna get sold. Shrimp is, is not long for this world as a, as a level one this, this late in the game. Perfect timing. Now, did I, did I do that just to get you to do that? That's, what you're gonna be, that's what's going to mess with you later, as the Oracle said in, in Minnesota's Matrix. That's what's going to boondoggle you later. Is Did I know you were going to order the chicken Caesar salad hot dish before you walked in? Did you only order the chicken Caesar salad hot dish? Did you only order the Juicy Lucy? <laughs> Sorry, that's not Minnesota. That's more of a, maybe an outside of um, Chicago, Illinois somewhere. Minnesota's more Canadian as a result. I can't really insult it. 
Um, we're not going for the death touch yet, just because we don't we don't have the necessary components. So we're still just focusing on our buffalo. And I, for the most part, I just think an emu is actually like pretty good. And I, I think you being about to be in position two is totally fine. What are we at? We, we've been winning pretty nicely. We're on five wins. Our shrimp got toasted. Okay, our whole order got screwed up. You know what? Am I crying? Am I, am I pooping myself? I'm not pooping myself. I'm doing great. The buffalo has had enough. I don't even know if he needs to go to level two. Like, he's so close to max. At least max... Uh, well, we, now we're going to send him, of course. <laughs> max uh, health, I was going to say. You should take this. We should build a big reindeer. It's, it's perfect. Sell me. Buy me. The pill bug has to go next. The, the meat is irrelevant, of course. Um, and the saber tooth is kind of interesting because it could summon things, but I, I feel like I've been pretty underwhelmed by it. Unless you can really build into it. I think we want instead, like, sell the pill bug. Buy a zebra this turn. There's a lot of triggers on that one. Um, and we're buying the zebra so that it steals the meat this turn, and then that doesn't really make any sense. It doesn't really matter, I guess. My zebra? It's a strong lad. We weren't off by much, though. Just two measly penguins. We're gonna sell you? I think you gotta prioritize the reindeer over the shrimp. <laughs> Just makes sense. You're gonna steal a meat. That's totally fine, probably. It's still the buffalo is still the bell of the ball here. Just hoping to see a reindeer. Another chocolate. Honestly, I don't see the saber tooth doing it for us. I would rather have a second melon armor. And I, I don't think we need a level three seagull, knowing we're we're fairly likely to be on lethal next turn. We need we need transformative late game units. We need something to buff our our reindeer. I don't know what it could be. Hang on. We we skated by on this one. We need something to buff our reindeer. How are we gonna do that? How, food is an option, admittedly, but we could use Hyena just to screw up your stats. Hang on, hang on. The strat. Walrus into Donut. I, I simply, like, I just, I think a level two should be fine. I, food is an option, but we're on a different track right now. Donut. We got our Donut. You purchased this. Now... We want like a, yes, you should start on winding it. You have zero triggers left this turn. We don't want you to take a donut anyway. That's, it's the perfect time to sell you, summon a beluga, and then whatever you summon will have death touch. So if I could get you to summon something, you need to go first though. If I could get you to summon something, maybe even just like that, that then summons something, we could get two death touch out of it. In fact, three, because one of them will be on the seagull. Yes. <laughs> now, we're going to be on lethal, but this is a, it's an interesting strategy. I need you to eat something that spawns something. Let's just freeze a cook. No, it doesn't matter. You, you can find any food will work. You don't spawn anything. Freeze that. But it's nice to have it. You don't spawn anything either. We can't keep you here because we need you to. We need it to be on the far left here. I understand now. A, something that spawns something. Please don't tell me a saber tooth is as good as it gets, man. For the time being, we ha we're at least getting one extra death touch out of this. But now we got to rework the order again. Give me a second. <laughs> you have to go first. The death touch will then go to the seagull, but the seagull needs to live. Seagull can go in the final, no, the fourth position, okay. Death touch will pass to the seagull, the beluga will die, it'll spit out something with death touch, the seagull will also have death touch, and our, our, our boar is, or sorry, our buffalo is pretty strong. Hang on. 
Don't look now. Oh. Oh. No. <laughs> it did a great job on these new pets. And I'm not just saying that because it worked that time. You can't eat. We need, we need you to get something that summons something. And honestly, like, take that for now. You don't summon anything. This would spit out two death touch, which is, is still good. But then if I... Okay, for now, go ahead. This landing here is, like, too good to pass up. I don't want you to spit out a reindeer, so unfortunately I can't really freeze you here. I can freeze this. We want something that spits out... You spit out something. Well, uh, it's, it's actually cricket. No, that's idiotic. It's rooster for sure. Please, God, to win this round would feel so incredible. Be or to not lose. So that way we could see, it, see the strategy through. Okay, there's our double death touch. It went to our reindeer, which obviously sucks. But then we're... No, it's all over. <laughs> okay, but it was fun. We... And I totally believe that it can work. I think if we had gotten that rooster to get eaten and then it would become like a level... Uh, it would become a level 2 rooster because we were going to have the beluga eat the chocolate and go to level 2 with the rooster on the far left side. Like, I, I think that we were basically one turn away from, from greatness. It'd be like a peculiar sack. Me, me meeting your, my urologist? My, my reaction when I am meeting my urologist, MRW? What is this team? Uh, I, long story short, I had a Hydra Seal as a, as a teenager. So benign um, enlargement of, of your sack, of your, of your ball bag. Well, really the area in, contained within, but I'm going to take my level because, I mean, stats are always king. Seems good. We're going to have a 5-5. Five, five. We're four squatted, but we're going to have a 5-5. Five, five. And otherwise, like, some pretty, some pretty strong lads on the team. Absolutely nothing to worry about. That one was not even close. Okay, this is what I mean. Like, our team is strong now. Maybe the right thing to do is to maximize our current strength. So don't worry about a jellyfish that requires level 2 to catch up. Like, add another faint trigger. Sell me. Buy me. And, and just start scaling a little bit here. Now I'm feeling like the jellyfish might not have been the worst idea. Honestly, sell me, buy me, and then buy me, <laughs> and you go here maybe, okay. Now I'm not totally sure about how I handled this one, but I feel like the shrimp scaling is powerful even early. Now they got, they got their own strong team here, no doubt about that. That hurt, that hurt me when that happened. You got a what, you got a four? We... Probably definitely lose this one. Just one trumpet made a lot of difference there. But I'm still feeling like our team is strong. I'm not crying. Level me. You know what? I'm willing to take a stab at it. I'm willing to post you up right here. I'm almost willing to reveal th that I am aware of the error of my ways. And... Uh, might have pivoted off of our strengths a little bit too early, thinking that I was somehow doing well. Wait a minute, but you're going to summon something, please? No, I'm going to summon something. Well, you're going to summon something. Okay, it's not quite. Again, not by much, but, but we weren't quite there. We have to lean into the shrimp, man. It's just like, it, it is that good, I think. It can get us out of this hole. It's a beautiful buy-sell. At this point, I, I want as much of the gas as possible to go to the Groundhog, honestly. I'm going to sell you. I'm going to purchase a, a Surgeon Fish. It sort of works here. We don't need to freeze the cherry. The Groundhog's not going anywhere. Mm, it's a very strong jellyfish. You know what? <laughs> I'm starting to think that maybe... When I said I didn't want the jellyfish, what I meant is give me that jellyfish immediately. We still won that one, though. Okay, unfreeze this. Roll me. This is beautiful. Even if it is off by, like, a level, I, I like to see it. A whale. 
could generate four trumpets for us. I don't want to brag, but four trumpets. I, I think you got to say the Frilled Dragon is no longer doing it. Now, you don't really have any reason to be on the squad, but we, we want to keep the buy cell going. Too late for the jellyfish. You know it's true. You need to find a unit that does something. I made a huge mistake. What would you have done? What would you have done? Would you have taken a gazelle because it's a 2-3? I don't know. I, I, I feel like... I feel like the odds of us making it through this round were pretty low once we saw how that shook out to begin with, but what a shot. Okay. Two life remaining, and we, we, we are in a weird position. We want more buy sell. And the manatee is just... Okay, this is how you, you have to set up for your Doberman pivot. The, the catch here is you need to not lose like the next three rounds. Cause I mean, two rounds would be enough to put you on lethal. You need to survive long enough to get units that you can fill out your squad with so the Doberman can actually do something. Okay, hang on, hang on. How are you gonna do this? How are you gonna do this? It's just, it's just slightly off. Okay, we're gonna be on lethal, but I'm on lethal with a dream, okay? I, I at least have a strategy now. Has a man ever been so wrong about his strategy before as I was on this one? I really thought we were we were doubling down on winning early. It turns out we weren't even close. Definitely something like this. I think you got to run like I guess I guess you run parrot behind groundhog. It's the best option right now even though it's really bad. <laughs> like insanely bad. Mm. And it's looking pretty heinous. We're going to lose. 3 wins. Okay, that hurts. It hurts when it goes down like that, but that's where we are. No point in denying it. We'll be back to try again. I'm still having a lot of fun this weekly. I hope you are as well. If you are, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. See ya!